All right, so today we're throwing it back a little bit, kind of getting back to that feeling and nostalgia. We're playing MVP Baseball 2005. Yeah, we're talking this game with Manny Ramirez on the cover. Probably one of the best baseball games ever made. And I'm talking ever. This is, I put so many hours into this game when I was younger. Oh man, it was one of my favorites. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop into one of my favorite modes, which is owner mode. Um, which is like if any franchise could get if MLB the show could put this into the game I think it would be amazing So let's just hop into it because this is so much fun So as you guys can see there is owner mode There's dynasty mode, which is typically like your normal franchise But owner mode is the one we're gonna do basically as the owner you, you take you know You take over a team and you have 30 years to make your organization successful 30 years seems like a lot but it's still it's still got some like fun about it um, ultimately retire with as much net worth as possible so basically you take over this team and you try to create a very successful franchise you build up the ballpark you set ticket prices and you literally like run every aspect of the team and that's what i liked about this you could upgrade your stadium you could upgrade like your concession stands lights design the stadium a little bit it was so much fun um, team chemistry was another thing you guys can kind of see how like there's a bank, there's a revenue, expenses, income, all that stuff, fan happiness. If you didn't do well, you could get fired. There were so many aspects to this. And think about this, this was back in like 2005 when you know, the games really weren't developed too much, but still they've got more in-depth franchise and owner modes than what we currently have now, which is crazy to think about. So with that being said, we're just gonna keep all this, the, uh, the settings standard. Alrighty, welcome to create a ballpark. I accidentally hit X too many times and I advanced. So we're trying this one again. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're just we're just gonna call it Ant Stadium, just because I can't really think of anything else. So we'll just call it Ant Stadium. Um, hopefully we can spell it right the first time and keep moving forward. We'll be done with that. We can pick a location. You guys can see the different locations that are here. Um, let's just go to the city. You guys can see the different types of field shapes that are available. We'll go with the, we'll go a high right field wall. We'll go with some indigo. And then let's go Ivy just cause the Cubs have Ivy to begin with. And then we'll go with, let's go with blue seats. And then we'll go with like the different types of grass. You guys can see green grass, turf, blue grass, but we'll go blue grass, maybe diamond pattern. And we'll play on some, uh, some clay. Oh, let's go some clay batter's box batter's box three but you guys can kind of see all the different customization options you have even though it's very basic it's still so much better than kind of what like games have now i think the only game that really allows you to customize a stadium is nba 2k uh madden does have like the expansion teams but the the customization and that is just pick a stadium so um we look into this expected income so obviously income is a big part of owner mode you literally have to try to make money through deals and sales and ticket sales and all that other stuff welcome to the cubs welcome to owner mode i'll be your financial advisor for the duration of owner mode and we'll help offer helpful tips and bits of advice okay so basically yeah you're literally just trying to run a franchise as profitable as possible while also keeping the fans happy and whatnot you guys can see team chemistry is in the middle fan happiness is kind of in the middle as well so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to owner's box you guys can see the team finances you guys can all look in there and see like kind of what you know how we're making money how we're ex like what our expected revenue and whatnot is going to be so we can kind of figure out if we're making money or we're losing money set pricing for items tickets you know we got an upcoming series uh with the brewers do we want to go kind of expensive do we kind of want to go cheap um concession prices we don't have any concessions so it doesn't really matter and we don't have a store so it doesn't really matter so you start off with a very basic stadium which is crazy like you literally have to build up your stadium because you kind of start with like a local park stadium is basically how it goes so you can buy assets like ballpark upgrades you can get a new scoreboard you can add more seating home run celebrations like fireworks and stuff um like if we select that you guys can see we can get fireworks if we go seating capacity we can 
add more down the first and third base line the scoreboard we can add lights and um ads what else do we got lighting banks we can get better lighting what else ads and logos you guys can kind of see ads which make us money as well or we could add some picnic tables which is always so nice to have in your ballpark attractions arcade room silent auctions ways to make money which i think is pretty cool um things that are just you just don't see them in today's game vendors concession stands um and i think it's pretty cool that we can add these things based on what our bank is and when i move back down to like store venues you can see we have two million in our bank so we can only spend two million um before we make more money basically so what we're gonna do is i feel like adding adding some ways to make money is probably the best option so let's go with uh, let's go with a pizza stand let's just go one and then maybe a soda vendor even though that's kind of expensive and we only have six hundred thousand left so what do we what do we go with here so maybe just like a one of those and we have a hundred thousand left what can we get for a hundred thousand maybe set a what maybe a promotional day just to get people in for opening day which would be kind of cool so we got a hundred thousand left let's go let's just go for broke let's go with a let's go for toy figures and the fur we got five that let's just do that and we'll we'll do that for opening day toy figures and we got it set up so there's so many different things you can do assets pricing promotional days you can hire and fire staff um you can kind of check your staff out your coach your or your manager and all the different you know staff members there's just so many different aspects of the stadium um, we got our stadium here we can take a quick look at it i definitely want to show you guys just the kind of the bare bones of what owner mode is and what it like just how cool it would be to have it in um just the show so you guys can kind of get the picture here it's a very very basic stadium um not much going on you got you know a little, little little seating in the back it literally looks like it's a minor league park right that's the kind of vibe you start with and obviously the better you do and the more money you make you can add on to that stadium and build it up and make it just like an absolute like must see destiny for your team so with that being said that's kind of the ins and outs of the owner's mode you kind of really just build on the team you can obviously make trades um sign free agents when you look at what we're working with for this team let's just take a look our depth chart you guys can see todd hollandsworth we got corey patterson in center sammy sosa um todd walker nomar garcia para aramis ramirez at third Derek lee at first carlos Zimbrano, mark Pryor, greg maddox carrie wood i mean so many so many good names i remember for the cub team we got henry blanco and michael barrett in the bullpen we got ryan dempster latroy hawkins joe borowski kyle farnsworth i mean this is like throwback for sure but you guys can kind of see you got this you can see their little happy and sad faces it all depends on like that's basically their morale so there's so many aspects to this game that like even the show doesn't have you can have suspensions for uh hit batters and stuff like that call up and send down um they even have single a so you can call up and send down throughout your entire organization um and just things like that so s such small things that could be added into a a franchise mode or a career mode nowadays um would be so nice to see even having going back to like the the payroll and stuff you have team finances in 2005 they had a better budget system than what they do in this year's this show so i feel like i've been talking way too much we've been talking about how owner's mode you know goes let's just hop into a game and let's get into this uh first game and just talk about, not like let's just deal with gameplay in 2005 mvp baseball 2005 um you know what i want to i want to do the home game so let's go to that home game ah screw it no i do want a home game all right so heading into this home game let's uh let's do it we are two and one you know it's it's okay we're playing the brewers we're at home so we can see our stadium 
Greg Maddox on the mound. Look at this Brewers team. We got Hall, Spivey, Junior Spivey, um, Lyle Overbay, Cliff Lee, I believe that is. No, Carlos Lee. Um, yeah, a little, little bit of a throwback there. I completely forgot he played for the, the Brewers. So 2005, we're talking crazy rosters here, like just throwback rosters. Let's go take a look at our stadium in game. And I'm kind of excited to see how this plays. All right, running out to the stadium. Here we go. Um, let's just let's just see how this goes. I'm kind of excited for it. This is going to be a lot of fun. All right. The meter. Oh, man, the meter. I remember the meter. Little pop-up. There we go. Easy play. First out. That's pretty simple. So, I remember this Cubs team. This Cubs team was a lot of fun to watch. Derek Lee at first. Aramis Ramirez at third. Um, Nomar. I was... Even though Nomar didn't play a lot for the Cubs because he was always hurt, Nomar was one of my favorite players growing up. Just the way he played shortstop was amazing. If he could have stayed healthy, I definitely would have think he would have been considered one of the better shortstops to play. Um, I still think even though he was injured all the time, he was better than Derek, G Derek Jeter. I know you guys are going to hate me for that, but I definitely think he was, he was better than Derek Jeter. He was unreal. Good defense good good with the bat it was just he, he was the man so um cory patterson never really was a fan of cory patterson um sammy sosa huge fan of sammy sosa but obviously with greg maddox carlos zambrano the hothead that he was it was just a lot of fun to watch this cubs team but um with this game this is just all about nostalgia here i mean just just the way it plays the meter i mean the graphics really aren't terrible for a game that came out in 2005 obviously they're not really realistic and stuff like like they are nowadays but i mean it's 2005 you gotta expect some changes so all right Corey patterson like i said never really was a fan of him but yeah whatever can't really can't really complain about it all right here we go We'll, we'll get contact on a ball, but a thing that I did like about this was kind of like how they created a good feedback system. Um, as we get a little base knock up the middle, I really don't remember how to... No, let's go back, let's go back, let's go back. I was going to say, I really don't remember base running in this game, so it's going to take me a little bit to get comfortable with it. But I remember the feedback system, which is that little like camera, in ca like that little camera that they give me. I'll see if I can like not hit a ball here. All right, let's see if it gives us the feedback because that was one of my favorite features on this game. Even something so small where it kind of shows you the yellow and the green ball. All right, so it's going to probably show us here. But you guys can see how like it gives us the yellow, which is like okay timing, the green, which is good timing. And then when they throw the pitch, obviously white is a fastball. Um, I think purple was some sort of off speed. Red was source, some sort of off speed. And green was like a changeup, so it kind of gave you like a little bit of a batter's eye or a kind of a, a hint as to what was coming. So that was kind of cool to see. And that's standing, unfortunately. So not much happened while we were swinging, but it was kind of cool how they, how they kind of almost revolutionized the way hitting and pitching was in baseball games. You know, they gave that little batter's eye, that little tip about what kind of pitches were coming. They gave you. Um, the feedback, which I thought was really cool. So you could kind of work on the timing while you were a hitter. I just thought that was pretty cool and a lot of fun to see. All right, let's see Nomar make the play. Throws it over to first. Boom, look at that. And I mean, to be honest, the gameplay actually feels really smooth. The animations look really nice. Um, hitting the ball is going to take some getting used to for me just because I'm so used to MLB the shows like swing and moving a PCI and stuff when here it's more of just you press X and then you kind of use the directional um, you use the the uh, the stick to kind of push which direction you want to hit the pitch as I completely missed the dive there but um it's just the game actually feels pretty smooth for a game that came out so so long ago like it actually feels like if you hit the ball well you get a good response to it you know throwing the ball there's no like two glitchy animations or anything so so far just through this game has been a lot of fun all 
All right, that's a that's a little bit of a base hit here. Are they gonna try to push it to third? They're not. So, so far, I mean, we're kind of getting a hit here. So let's see. They got their their pitcher up. If we could turn two here, that'd be that'd be huge. Actually, there's two outs. What am I saying? Turn two. We don't need to turn two. There's two outs. There we go. That's the inning. All right, Aramis. Oh, that's good contact. Come on, get down. There we go. Go two. You got the speed. Get in there. And um, even in this game, they had the slide where it was directional, kind of like MLB The Show. So that was kind of cool to see that this early into a baseball game, they kind of incorporated something like that. Well, that's going to move Aramis over to third. But for the most part, this has actually been a lot of fun to play. Um, this is actually the second copy I've had to buy. The first copy I had to return because it was all scratched up. So luckily I was able to find a copy. And this one is like mint condition. There's like literally nothing wrong with it. All right, let's get this. Oh, is that going to drop? I don't think it is. Unfortunately, couldn't get the run down but, or run in. So what I'm going to do is, I think you can, sit, yeah, I was going to say, I'm pretty sure you can sim, but I don't know if you can come back into the game, but uh, we kind of got the idea, right? Like, I guess I'll, I'll continue playing one more inning, but then we'll hop into the sim options just to kind of see how how much different they are. Oh, uh, if Aramis Ramirez can make this play, this is going to be insane. Does he do it? Ah, the throw is a little off, but even the dives, the dives feel a little bit better than what they do in MLB The Show, which is kind of crazy to think about. We're going to go over to first, probably throw it away there. But, I mean, this game is just so much fun. I'm, I'm going to, even after this video, I'm probably going to continue to play something like this. Let's turn two. Oh, man. Just so nice. Unreal. Like that animation. Yeah, it may not look the best, but it, it, it actually felt smooth. Like, load up the throw to second. Catch it throw it to first like it, it wasn't it didn't seem like you had to smash that might be a home run i think that's a home run as i'm talking about how everything feels smooth we give up a run we go down one to nothing or a home run we go down one to nothing but like i was saying like it, it feels smooth you don't have to like smash the button to make sure that you actually are making the throw to first you don't have to worry about some like stupid reason why someone doesn't throw the ball or you get some stupid animation it looks just pretty smooth and things kind of work out um is that gonna hang that actually went deeper than i thought it was okay all right we're down to our our last controlled out then we're gonna hop into the sim options just to kind of see what we're working with and uh, I think that's that's going to be the inning as we slide into first there. So, yeah, that's the inning. We're down one. But what we're going to do is we're going to hop into the sim options now and just kind of take a look and see what kind of options they have. 05 is a little bit more in-depth, which is a little crazy. So they have different options. I'm waiting for the tracks menu to go away. So they have play, manage, and sim, which is basically like what we have for MLB The Show, which is kind of cool to see. So we get out of that inning. Nomar gets on. And then nothing happens to us in the fifth. So, ooh, we're getting a little rally going. And I guess we hit into a double play to end that inning. But um, we might end up losing this game. <laughs> uh, Greg Maddox has only allowed that home run, which was my fault, obviously. But uh, let's see here. One run, two run score. So we're actually down. We're going to pinch hit here. And we're going to go to... I don't know, man. We don't really have any good bench <laughs> bench hitters here. We're going to go to um, Macias and uh, see how this goes. But um, actually, let me let me show you the stats because player info. You guys can kind of see like their power. They give you numbers there. You got your, your ratings and stuff, your spray charts, which is kind of a scouting. They gave you scouting for players. I totally forgot about this. They gave you scouting for like, oh, this guy may end up being a good player this guy is probably more of just a, a role player oh i forgot about that that's uh that was yeah that was that was cool to see that like they had that as well and then aramis ramirez gives us the lead going into the ninth okay um let's go to our man our closer latroy hawkins which oh man he's probably gonna blow it here that's what he did in real life he actually didn't and we won 
Um, okay. So we won that game. We can check the income for the game. We won we made 15 or no 15, 514,000, but just stuff like that. Seeing how much you made, seeing how much you can spend for your team. You know, you go back to the owner's box. We can uh, not look at promotional days, but like buy assets, go to ballpark upgrades. You guys can see we're kind of in the, the minus right now because we obviously have to pay players and we have to pay for stuff and whatnot. So we got to wait until we actually make money back. But you guys can see like you, you have to spend your money wisely. You have to worry about who you're paying and how to make money back. And it literally is the most in-depth franchise mode I've seen in quite some time. And it, I would love to see something like this back in MLB the show. Like this was the best franchise mode. And I remember putting so many hours into it and just having so much fun with it as a kid and bringing it back today would be amazing. So like I said, gameplay, obviously it's 2004, 2005, so you can't really expect it to be like top of the line gameplay graphics the same way, but the owner mode is what I was most like looking forward to trying out because it is so much more in depth than what we currently have in a franchise mode in any sort of game, really besides, what is it, my league in 2K? So to have something like this back in a baseball game, if MLB The Show could incorporate any sort of things that the owner's box has in MVP Baseball 2005, I think as a community would be a lot happier and it would just be really cool to see um especially with all the new like i don't know i just feel like it would be a really cool game mode to have so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did make sure you hit the like button down below subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content i know it wasn't really gameplay focused but the main focus of it was just really talking about this owner's mode that they have in a game that was made in 2004 2005 compared to what we have now which is kind of just a bare bones franchise mode that i feel like could be built on so quickly so i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll catch you all in the next video peace